What is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out the bedhead crimper. So I'm going to show you how I'm using this and see if it works, see if it looks good. I've never tried it. So if you're interested in seeing what my hair looks like crimped or how this works, keep watching. <music> Okay guys, I just got this in the mail from Amazon. This was $24. I was influenced to buy it after seeing a ton of people crimping their hair on Instagram and I thought, you know what, I wanna try it. Okay, so I just pulled it out of the box. It came in this plastic. It looks pretty nice for $24. Not bad. Oh my gosh, I literally haven't used one of these in so long. I don't even know if I remember how to, but we're gonna try it. Okay, so one thing I did notice with this is as I was holding it, I was like, um, how do you open it to clamp down? And actually there's this little lock button. So it's locked right now and you unlock and then you can crimp. Oh my gosh, I feel like this is gonna be, <laughs> crazy for my super thin hair and then you have the on off button here so i'm gonna plug this guy in and heat it up also i'm literally filming this on my phone right now because i just don't feel like getting my camera but this is what my hair looks like before this is how my hair dries just like naturally has this little weird wave always right there so yes this is what my hair looks like currently nothing special Okay, so one thing I like to do is use scrunchies on my hair because it is super thin and that just helps prevent breakage. So I actually have this massive bag of scrunchies in every color you could imagine and I got it from Amazon for $11, super cheap. But yeah, so I have two scrunchies here. I'm going to section my hair into four so i'm gonna leave the bottom down like that and just twist this kind of up into a kind of a ponytail cute <laughs> i have literally okay that's a little too tight that's better it's out of my face. You can do this however you want. You can use like clips, like this scrunchie, make this really cute hairdo. You really just want your hair out of your face. And I actually really need to redo this side. Yeah, I don't know why I don't wear my hair like this more often. So then we're just gonna brush the bottom. This could like actually be a kind of cute look here. Okay. She's heated up. <laughs> I'm dying. I don't even know what I'm doing. Let's try this piece and see what happens. All right. I'm pressing, holding, which I think you hold for a certain amount of time. I didn't read the instructions. Oh yeah, there we go. I think this is what you do. Maybe let's read. Lightly clamp. Oh yeah. All right. Instructions say, Work from scalp to ends of dry hair starting at roots. Lately clamp a small section, hold the hair. Release. Oh yeah, here we go. There's some, this is some clampage. All right, let's do some more. <laughs> Luckily for me, having super thin hair, stuff like this always takes 
no time. Like, I could imagine somebody with thick hair, this would take a really long ass time, but hopefully it doesn't take me too long. I'll actually see, let's see, I'm starting this at eight, yeah. Or is it seven? All right, we have some wave action here. still have this top layer so I'm going to put this back up so one thing I don't think I did right is this bump up here I feel like I should have held the iron like maybe I need to straighten that Part, cause I feel like that looks weird, but I don't know. I'm gonna try, like, cause it's so high up. But maybe when, they, maybe if I straighten that part down, it'll be okay. Now that it's hot, I don't have to hold it as long, which is nice. Okay. Now for the other side. So now with like my bangs is where it really should get interesting. <laughs> oh god. Okay guys, I finished doing this off camera. Um, but I actually, like my hair is super poofy. I ran a brush through it. It's definitely big. Um, my issue is like just this weird curl I have right here so I'm going to like I don't know if that's how it's supposed to look like see how it's so clamped yeah I mean I don't hate it to be honest I just feel like if I had this pinned back or something that'd be cute like a little twist but it also is cute, like in the front. So what I'm gonna use is this Whey Finishing Cream, which I actually love just in general, just to put like a little bit on your fingers and then you just kind of go over the top, go out of your face and it kind of gets rid of the flyaways. And it just makes your hair like more tamed. This is so weird for me to look at myself, but... To be honest, I don't hate this at all. I actually think it looks pretty cute, and it's fun and different, so I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts on the bedhead crimper. Overall, it took me about 20 minutes to do on my hair. Granted, my hair is pretty thin. As you saw, I usually section it into four different sections and I can do it pretty quickly. Um, in terms of ease of use, super easy to use. I haven't used one of these in forever and I figured it out pretty easily. Um, you just wanna clamp down in sections as you're going down your strand. I'm interested to see how this looks in a little bit as it kind of falls out a little bit. I think the only thing that's weird for me to see with it is just how it looks on the top. Because I don't have a middle part, I feel like it just looks weird, weirdly pressed, but also maybe I'm just not used to the crimped look. I don't know, so I'm curious to see how this holds up, how it looks as it kind of falls out a little bit. But I actually really like these results. I think that it's a fun, different hairstyle that I normally don't do unless I have braids, but for me, I can't do French braids, so my braids typically have this crimped effect just like from here down. So it's nice to be able to crimp the top and have it kind of look more cohesive. Um, something else I want to note that I really like about this is that you saw how flat my hair was in the beginning and I feel
feel like when I finished doing this, my hair was like pretty poofy and I like that added volume because my hair does not get volume at all. So yeah, I really like it. I think it'll be fun to do like maybe a little half up, half down situation or like pinning here or having this part pulled back like in a cute little scrunchy get a little 80s vibe going on 90s vibe like that be cute let's try it i have a scrunchie right here excuse me hello this is insane actually so freaking babysitter's club yeah, and I can actually crimp this a little more because it's falling out. Oh my gosh, this like makes me kind of look like I have a lot of hair. So if you have thin hair, I suggest getting a crimper because I feel like this makes me actually look like I have volume to my hair. This is like a cool little loungy look. Guys, it's 2020 and I am recommending that you get a freaking crimper what is this year yeah i really like this i like it i suggest it it's only 24 bucks and it's fun it's a different way to style your hair and make your hair look bigger i don't really know what else to say about it super easy to use cute hairstyle so this would be cute like up in a ponytail and make your ponytail look super full so yeah this is the look and let me know if you guys like this video. I wanted to do something fun and lighthearted and this was it. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like it, leave a comment and follow me on Instagram at workouts with Erica and I will see you guys in my next video.